Hey, it's Mark Shamoose. Hope that everyone today is living the best life possible. Today's topic is about being fed up. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Have you had enough? Some people never get to that breaking point because they settle for anything and everything. But you must, if you want to have a better life, to reach something that is more aligned with your purpose, your dreams, you have to get to that boiling point where you say enough is enough. You have to get to that point. Otherwise, how do you change the elements in your life that you need to change to get where you need to get? It's impossible. You must come to that point, that decision where you say, I am done. I'm not going to take it anymore. And therefore, the habits that you have, the thinking that you have, all the choices that led you to where you are right now, you're changing those things. You have to make a change to do the same things over and over and over. That is what's called insanity to expect a different result, but yet do the same things over and over. The people that are able to transition, to get themselves from where they are now to where they want to be, all that they did, which is different than what you might be doing, is that they were willing to change a few key elements in the way they do things. If you can mold and to change what you do into what those who are successful are doing, those who have broken through and found their path from not making it happen to definitely make it happen, what they did is that one degree of separation. They got fed up. They got sick and tired of being sick and tired. They had enough. And they said, it's time to do something about it. They were willing to make a change because they did not want to experience those same painful circumstances over and over and over and over again. The only difference between you that are having a Groundhog Day negative experience and the people that seem to be living in a paradise of just all kinds of options and all the positivities and enjoyment and fulfillment that life can bring is that they got to that point where they said, I need to find solutions. And they then acted upon that mindset shift, that behavior change that they allowed in themselves. First, give yourself permission that it's okay to be able to do things differently. Also, do not let anybody talk you out of attempting to make it better. The crab in the bucket phenomenon, where they want to pull you down as you try to get out of the bucket you're stuck in. We all get stuck in a rut. We all have those moments where life is challenging. All of us. So what is the difference between the person who makes it out of the bucket onto a better path toward the actualization of the life that they want? versus the person that remains perpetually stuck, never moving forward, always frustrated, always rereading the same chapter where they fail. You know what I tell you? I'm gonna tell you this. The only difference between your story that you keep telling people over and over about how you didn't make it happen, about how you're a victim and other people did you wrong, and you're not living the life that you want. And then the new chapter, the new book, of which you actually are able to overcome those things by doing some things a little bit different. And you write the chapter of which you actually crush it and win. Why don't you write that chapter? Why aren't you not willing to get out of your own way, to take whatever is holding you back and let go of it, to push it to the side, to remove all your own doubts, fears, and limitations, and also stop other people from influencing what is your choice to win. The only thing that matters is what you choose to do and how you think and how you feel, not the opinions of others who do not pay your bills. They do not have to go through the stresses financially, emotionally, or otherwise every day that you gotta go through. They're not giving you a ride when you need it. They're not the ones helping with your children or your parents, if you take care of your parents. 
They're not the ones that have to do all the chores every day that you do in your life. They're not the ones that have to do the grocery shopping. They're not the ones that have to go out there and hustle every single day to make life the way that you need it to be. So stop taking advice from people that are not doing those things for you. It's amazing how many people we give power over us that should not have any power over us. Does it really matter what their opinion is since they literally do very little for us when it comes to push and shove? If that person is so relevant and so powerful in our life, how come that person isn't there when we're sick and we have to go to the emergency room at one in the morning? I don't see that person there trying to help you at all, do you? Probably not. And the same person giving you advice, telling you how you shouldn't modify, how you shouldn't change, how you shouldn't reach for more. I don't see them giving you solutions. I don't see them giving you something positive that you can make a choice to make your life better with. They criticize, they ridicule, they tell you that you shouldn't do it, but then they don't give you any workable ways to actually fix it to make it better. So be careful who you take your advice from. Remember, being fed up, being sick and tired of being sick and tired, having enough, those should be more than plenty to motivate you, to get out of your own way, to seek help and advice from people who have measurable success and ways of which you can win. I have been helping people for many decades as a life coach to give them strategies and real workable, real life solutions to win, both in their personal life. Also, if they're in a home-based business, which I have many, many decades of experience with, I started in that arena at a very young age. I had successful family members that were kicking butt in Tupperware and Mary Kay when I was very young. And then when I got to 18, I got into the home-based business arena. And I've been in that throughout the last 31 plus years. I've made millions in that arena. And I've done it because I was able to get out of my own way when I wasn't having success. When I was really crappy and horrible at doing this industry, I would talk to a lot of people, probably scare the, the, the crap out of people, honestly, because I was doing the same and, and all the things I was doing were wrong. See, what happened was I got to a point where I was just, I was fed up. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired of not being successful, not making money, not knowing what I was doing. I had enough. And then what I did is I went out there and I found people to mentor me that were successful, that knew what they were doing. And I started to pull on their coattails and get some information from their mind. I have watched and I observed their behavior. I listened very closely. I took down notes. Remember, learning of success patterns, there's two ways to do it. Way number one is that you can do it the hard way. And the hard way is through your own life experience. You're probably going to have a lot of pain. You're probably going to have a lot of things that don't work out. And you have to work through those and learn the lessons and then correct yourself based on the lessons and then move forward. It's going to take you a lot longer. It's going to be a very painful path. I've made a lot of those choices because of either stubbornness, my ego, my pride, whatever. But I've been down that path. It's not always the best path. Path number two is actually what the wisest of people that want to shortcut their journey do. And what they do is they learn from other people that have already been through experience and they learn from what did they do so that they navigated through and succeeded. And then they're able to get the same result by duplicating whatever behaviors, whatever mindset that they had, whatever strategies, tools, and resources that those people were using. That is how you win. I know that because that's what I ended up doing is I was able to shortcut a lot of the success from following what people were doing. When I was only a five-figure lifetime earner in network marketing, I felt really, really pathetic. Like, how come I'm not making any money? And you know what I did? I corrected my thinking by saying, let me find somebody who's made six figures, seven figures, eight figures in this industry. Let me find out what are they doing different than what I'm doing? How can I mold into the same type of a leader that they are? What are they doing with their speech patterns? How is it that they're able to influence other people? 
What is it that they do as far as on a daily basis with their regiment that's different than what I was doing? When they do work with their people, what is it that they are actually communicating with their people? Where do they spend their time? And what I found was I was chasing after people. I was trying to convince people. I was saying a lot of the wrong things to a lot of the wrong people. I was spending way too much time with people that would never do anything worthwhile. And then when I shifted it, after I watched those people that were making six, seven, and eight figure lifetime earnings in home business, I started to model after what they did. I would look for people that were looking to create a better life, that wanted more of a life, that were hungry for change. And then I would work with the workers, the ones that were, they joined, but then they actually build their business. They want more out of it. Chatty Cathy versus Bob the Builder, the one who talks and talks and talks, but never does the income producing activities, is not going to make money for themselves or for your team. And spending a lot of time with them is fun and it might be entertaining, but you're never going to accomplish much. But with Bob the Builders, you're going to get a lot done because they are action takers and they want to get more done. And I learned how to plug into doing more of that and then being a more effective communicator and then being able to uplift your people, not just in a rah-rah motivational sense, but giving them some real life skills. These are all the things that matter. But nothing would have happened if I didn't get sick and tired of being sick and tired, being fed up, didn't having the results I wanted. I had enough of sucking. There's four things that happen in the success path. There's going to be when you are unconsciously incompetent. You don't know that you suck. You're really bad at certain skills, which includes maybe it's home business for you can't make any money because you don't know that you don't have the skills and you're not even aware, it's not even on your radar how bad you are. And the second step of competencies is gonna be when you become consciously incompetent. So now you know that you're really bad. You become aware of, wow, I'm not really good at this. I don't know how to sponsor people in the network marketing. I don't know how to effectively lead people. I don't know how to show the people the materials. I don't know how to follow back with the people. I don't even know what to say to the people. I don't know how to get them started and close them into the business. And I definitely don't know how to create duplication and get people on the team to actually be producers as well. And then you go into the third phase of the competencies. And that's when you become consciously competent and you got to think about it and you've learned from some of the masters that have done really well out there but every time you're doing it you have to really think hard about it because it takes you a moment to say am I doing what they showed me and you keep reflecting back to notes that you had written down or you put in a digital format or you have to keep going to the meetings all the time because repetition is the mother of skill and you keep going and going and you keep learning and learning and you're rehearsing and then you're doing and you keep doing the activities and the more you do it, the more you master it. And then you start seeing that some of your team is starting to duplicate what you're doing. Not all of them, but some of them are. And finally, you become a master. 10,000 hours of doing anything and you become really super duper proficient. You are a master of it. And at that point, you become, in my opinion, incredibly hard for anyone to stop. You're unstoppable. And you become the fourth level of competency which is you are unconsciously competent. So therefore, you just are doing all the right things all the time and don't even have to think about it. Think about when you learned to drive. Well, you sat down in the wheel and you didn't know that you really were bad at doing all the things. You weren't braking correctly, pressing too hard on the gas. The wheel, man, you could hardly spin the wheel. You couldn't figure out how to do a three-point turn. It looked like a nine-point turn. All kinds of things. Your merging was horrible. And then you got aware of these things. And then you're really nervous because you're like, wow, <laughs> there's a lot for me to figure out here. And I'm not sure if I'm doing it all correctly. So then you spend time as you start to transition into getting skillful to learn how to navigate driving a car. And then later on, you start to know how to do all these activities because you spend enough time with someone who does know how to drive. And they spend time to correct you and show you. You've had time to think about it as you've been out there practicing and doing a lot of the wrong things, but getting better by learning from that. And then later on, you start getting well enough where you can do it. But you got to think about, okay, 
what am I doing next? Okay, I have to press my foot on the brake and then I move the gear to change it into a different gear to go reverse. And you're thinking of all these things. But next thing you know, you become really proficient at driving. And now you're not thinking about it. You got the radio on, you're talking to the person in the seat next to you, you're changing uh, gears, uh, you're literally in, in traffic, you got the radio blasting, and then next thing you know, you're changing lanes, you're changing your signals, you're doing all kinds of stuff. You're merging without even thinking that you're merging. Traffic signals, everything from stop signs to intersections with lights and all this, pedestrians, people crossing the street, all kinds of stuff going on. And you're not having to think so much about it, you're just doing, you're in the moment. And this is what it takes for a true success. In home-based business, it's the same. It is your ability that you can transition from being a novice to being an expert and you don't have to think too much about what does it take. All success starts with being sick and tired of being sick and tired. You had enough, you're fed up, and then you do something about it. You make a shift, you plug into following people that already are masters at that. They've already gone through those four skill levels of competencies. Unconsciously incompetent, consciously incompetent, consciously competent, and then unconsciously competent. And you go through all those until you become a master yourself, and the cycle repeats as you pay it forward and you help other people, which is like what I'm doing for you right now. Because I want you to win in the biggest way. It's time to stop being sick and tired of being sick and tired, to fix your life, to get on the right path, to make it happen. I hope that you can get on the right path. If you want to make 2024 and beyond the best year of your life ever, I want you to join forces with me. I want you to team up with me. You'll get me on the regular basis like you get right now, except you're not paying for counseling fees or any other mentor fees. You be part of my team as we can make some of the most life-changing lucrative income together in an opportunity that is a class A opportunity. No income plan has ever existed more powerfully financially charged to make you more income than this right here that you're going to see. This company is primed and ready for you, and I can't wait to be your business partner to take it to the top. So go to startglw.com. I can't wait to have you on the team. Go there right now. It's in the link. Take a free tour. Join the team. Come on in. Get a few products when you come in, and let's go to the moon. Let's make it happen together. I won't let you give up on yourself. But remember, I can't do it for you. You gotta be willing to be sick and tired of sick and tired. You had enough, you're fed up. Get off your butt, do something about it. Let's write that next chapter in your book. Let's write that next story that you win. And I'm here to help work with you, to help you win. But you gotta make the choice so you're ready for that. If you're ready for that, come on the team. Let's win together, let's go. And hey, if you don't wanna join the business, I love you, I'll see you on the next video. Can't wait to see you win in your life, regardless of what your choice is. But hey, it'd be a lot more fun if you're on my team because we can win together. All right, see you soon.